Hey there folks, Tornado Twins here once again and welcome back to part 21 and it's uh, time to continue on in becoming the most awesome game developers in the world and that's you. So uh, let's continue on. Last video some people have um, commented and said wait a minute I saw some parts in your script that you had not covered yet. Um, and that's true, I had some scripts there working that I did not explain yet, mainly because they did not work yet. So, in this series we'll look at those and make them work. And what these scripts do is they make sure that one, the body parts get hidden once you get hit. So, um, let's get to that. Now when we play our game, let me uh, turn off the statistics here. When we play our game, the uh, cannon hits us and we turn around but the fire the um, rest of the worm character is still following us which is of course not what we want because the whole idea of the game is to lose body parts okay so we have three body parts so of course we need to make sure that we know which ones they are and to delete them on being hit so let's open up our health control script here and uh, right now, this should be the same as what you have. We have uh, our health variables up top declared. Then we have our update function, which looks at the current lives. And then I have also two variables that are defining the body parts. So if you have not defined these yet, type var and then body part one, which is a transform variable, and then body part two, which is a transform variable. Now this script is attached to our GUI just to make it work in the game which is this one right here and in order to make sure we know exactly what's going on you need to drag the body parts of the worm on top of these variables here so for body part one you need to select let me focus on this here real quick hold on what's going on I'm not in the scene view okay so body part one in your script needs to be the second part of the worm okay and then if I go back to my GUI, the body part 2 needs to be the last part of your worm. Okay, so let's go back to our health control. And now that we have these two set up, I'm going to declare a new variable that I also want to access from other scripts. So it needs to be static. So static variable. And I'm calling this one hits because lives only happen when you are game over so lives count down but hits count up so if you're hit once we need to hide one of the body parts if you hit twice we need to hide two body parts and then if you hit three times we're subtracting a life and we're starting all back over after respawning so that's what our hits will be for so our hits start at zero and they count up our lives start at three and they count down okay now in our update function let's uh, add a little line here that displays how much lives and hits we have in our current game. So I'm going to add the print statement and then I'm going to print the lives first. Lives. And then I'm adding a little space because uh, just to add a little white space in between the lives and the actual variable. And then I'm adding the variable here, lives. And then I also want to display hits in the same print method. So let me add a plus here and then another string which will read space hits space and then our plus hits okay so this will type perfectly this will print out lives and then a number and then hits another space and then a number this is how it will start off when we first start our game okay now we need to add some logic to basically count down the uh, lives or the hits in fact, so that would be another switch statement. So let me add this to the end here. Switch and then hits. Okay. Now we need to do another case example here, but this time we're counting up. So case one. And here we need to uh, disable body part one. And then let's add our break statement to end this. Okay. Now our body part one is uh, pretty easy because we've defined it up here body part one okay um, so uh, actually body part one is the second one so we need to have the last one in the row so body part two body part two dot renderer dot enabled 
equals false. So this will turn off the renderer of our body part so we cannot see it anymore. Okay, we're not destroying it because we want to turn it on later, so we're just turning off the renderer. Okay, so it's still there, it's just invisible. Now let's move on with the second part. Let me add some white space here so that we can see this better. All right, case it's number two, so we got hit again. Body, then do we need to turn body part one off? So we're turning body part one off the renderer. And just in case we missed the second one, we could even copy and paste that and apply it here. Not really needed, but you know, just in case. All right. So now we have both our body parts hidden, and now only the head is moving around. So in case we're in number three, we got hit three times, then we need to actually respawn. So uh, we need to subtract a live, lives, minus equals one. That subtracts one. Now we don't have to do health control dot lives because we're already in the health control script. So we can just access it right from here. We also need to uh, set our hits back to zero because uh, we're going to respawn here. And now we need to uh, trigger the respawn script that we have in our move around. So if I add my move around script and then reference the variable dead and set it to true, I will get a little error, but that's fine. You can see that here it says well, you know, that's not really how we're doing things because the dead variable is not defined as a static variable. So open up your move around script and then go to the part where it says private var dead. Now let's turn that private into a static. And this will make the dead variable accessible from other scripts and our error will go away as you can see here. Now, why am I using the dead is false in the other script? Because um, in our script when we're checking collision, or actually in the late update function here we're looking to see if the character is dead and if he is we're using the respawn code that we have right here that we've added in previous versions so that is uh, just to trigger our respawn script so this should work except that we have one problem here and the problem is there is no code yet where we are subtracting or adding the hits you know it's it's uh, our switch statements are here so they're checking if they are one two or three but we do not yet know uh, if we're hit or not. So we need to do that in our move around script. So let's come over to our move around script and scroll down to uh, our on trigger enter function, which handles all the collision in the world. So we have collision with our fallout, which respawns by setting that to true and subtracts alive. But also we have our projectile here and our got hit is true and then our destroy is true. So it destroys the projectile. However, we need also need to uh, actually count the hits here. So we can add a little piece of code that reference the other script health control dot hits plus equals one. All right, that should do the trick. Let me think really quick if I missed something. I think this should work just fine. Let me close out. I don't have any errors right now. So let me hit play. And as you can see in the bottom, we're printing how many lives we have and how many hits we have. And so far, we are at our maximum of three lives and zero hits. However, when I fall off the platform, it should subtract one life. Let me try that first and see if I respawn right. I'm falling. Perfect. Now I have two lives left. Now let me verse the cannon here and just stand still for a second, see if I can get hit. Now I got one hit two hit just the head left and now when I get hit again I respawn okay I'm respawning but when I respawn the body parts are not coming back so that's a little bug that we need to fix of course so let's look at that next um, that's probably our respawn script so let's open up our move around let's go to our uh, respawn script here mm-hmm or in fact let me just do that in our health control script instead at the part where we have this so that I don't have to reference these from another script so let me copy and paste 
these and let me set the renderer to true once again and then again for body part 2 let me set this to true alright now see what happens playing the game just waiting for the turret to hit me hit once hit twice hit three times and I'm respawning yet I'm still tumbling around but that we can fix that later so for now we have our respawning working and our subtraction of body parts uh, next what we also need to look at is how can we make our turret blow up and our turret is not going to blow up gradually we just want to hit it once and then destroy it from there so we'll look at that next 